All right, welcome into Off the Radar, taking a look at a few stories outside of our normal discussion. And uh, we'll start off with the XFL. The Rock and his ex-wife, but uh, still business partner, uh, Danny Garcia, they uh, made news a few months back when it was announced that they had purchased the rights of the XFL from uh, WWE president, chairman, owner, what have you, uh, Vince McMahon. Of course, uh, McMahon, with two go-rounds with the XFL. The first time was just an absolute disaster. Uh, ratings plummeted very quickly. And uh, really, it, I mean, it turned into a 30 for 30. It was, it, was so, it was so bad, it turned into a 30 for 30, but then they attempted to relaunch it. And uh, unfortunately for them, uh, they got hit by the pandemic. Just the timing of it. Uh, just so happened that when they made their comeback, so did the, the pandemic made its debut. And uh, that wiped them out pretty quickly. I think Vince finally caught wind of like, maybe this is a sign that I'm just not meant to be a football league owner. Uh, I failed twice now with this. So he sold it to The Rock and uh, and his uh, ex and business partner, Danny Garcia. Well, yesterday they uh, unveiled the new logo for the XFL. And they've been good about, uh, quite honestly, just kind of keeping themselves in the news with just little things here and there, whether it be The Rock saying something or, you know, just the announcement of the how they're going to do things. Uh, but they uh, debuted the new logo yesterday. And there you have it, XFL 20. 2023 because of course they're not returning until next year uh some early thoughts uh people thought this was the axe body spray logo yeah Yeah. Um, i can see that and so that's kind of a basis point for for some i might have ruined y'all's opinion of it now by saying that but uh what do y'all think of the new xfl logo again the league coming back next season i like it it's I, i like simple I think sometimes you can be too splashy i i like the way that they've cut off some of the edges of the of the letters uh, I'll tell you, as soon as Craig said Axe Body Spray, <laughs> see, I ruined it's it. now all I can see. I think it still looks good. Uh, it, it, and now that you said it also, it reminds me of an old SNL sketch with Ryan Gosling in it called Papyrus, where the, the center of it is that the guy is upset because the Avatar logo for the movie Avatar was just Papyrus and a graphic designer oh. <laughs> just did that. That's what it looks like here. He just copied and pasted it. I like and, simple. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. It, I, you know what Similar. I thought happened? I thought I was doing one of those eye tests. And they say, yeah. here... Or here. here. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it is It is yeah. similar. But, look, they need sponsorships. Why not maybe trick Axe Body Spray into... They, they did not cut off any of the edges of the, of the letters. No, no, no. No, that's but, why it's wildly different. Yeah. Yeah, wildly different. See, no, it's not the same. The, the X has a split yeah. in the middle of it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but mm. awfully similar, and that was kind of the first, and so that might have ruined people's opinions of it if they had just seen it without you know having that that interjected. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's the new logo. They continue to hype it up. I mean, with the rock at the helm, I think that they'll get a lot of attention, or at least be able to keep attention. But uh, we are less than two weeks away now, fellas, from the USFL's launch, mm. and then uh, a year from now, really, uh, about a year from now, it'll be the XFL launching. So another wave of these new leagues, and we've seen this before. Uh, we've seen it plenty of times. There was a run on this about, you know, three, four years ago. You had the AAF, and you had the Spring League, and you had, you know, a bunch of characters like Johnny Manziel still trying to make the league. And and that's all kind of aged out at this point. But, uh, but do you all have any sense of hope for these leagues? I, I do with the XFL just simply because I, with the rock behind it, I, I do think that he's going to find a way to make it work I, somehow. And I do think that there's – it's just never been done correctly. I do think there is space for more football. Well, look, I just the, don't know that anybody's ever done it very well. The USFL was on a successful track. Their problem was they grew too fast and they listened to the wrong people uh, when it came to what they should be. And um, as to not start a political argument anywhere that wrong person i'm not going to name but we all know who he was well you've always said it three well, times Do- in Do- your look you, it's donald, donald, donald trump wrecked but the, it's the not USFL. his fault that everybody listened to him other people should have been able to stand up and say no we shouldn't do this no but the, all yeah. leagues screw up when they try to expand too early yeah period it's, it's his fault for having the idea though you know so uh so and and then taking charge of the thing and running into the rocks and not listening to anyone else he's also had a lot of ideas that were amazing but this one was not yeah uh, um, agree to disagree. Uh, I, um, but I, I think that if they just stay being a spring football league and being what they are and not growing too fast, they'll be fine. But that's not what they all try to do. All right. All right. Elsewhere, uh, the Freddie Freeman uh, and Bray. 